Hello. Let me spin. Spinning in a circle. Wee! What's up, guys? I'm back. With another video. What is this video gonna be about? You'll see. Let me adjust myself. Okay. Whew. Do you guys like my hair? I'm killing it with my hair. I love it. I'm gonna touch it up soon before I go to Los Angeles. Let me see. Can you guys see my roots? That's crazy, right? Look at that. But you know what? It doesn't look bad. I thought that when the roots grew out, it would look really ugly. But I think like roots. If it gets any longer, I might not look cute anymore. But I think we're at a good pace. So for today's video, what do I want to talk about? I have a whole notebook of topics that I covered. <laughs> I think I want to talk about 2023 and that's the year I turned 30. Woo! So what is it like turning 30 you, you may ask? Honestly, doesn't feel any different. <laughs> um, I, want, I definitely want to say when January hit the reality of me turning 30 it like started to freak me out. Not not in a bad way, but um, it was more like, oh shit, it's actually happening. Like, I, I knew. I knew I would always turn 30, you know. But I didn't think it would happen so fast. I feel like I just turned 18 yesterday. I feel like I just went away for college, like, yesterday. Like, it's crazy how time flies by. So, I guess I just want to talk about, like, what I learned in my 20s a little bit and how it felt turning 30. <laughs> I know everyone said like the 30s is the new 20s and I do want to say I am enjoying my 30s so far and I have a lot of young friends and um, people I, I meet at the gym and you know and it seems like the dating pool is rough out there and I'm kind of glad I don't got to do and uh, deal with that anymore hey don't drag me okay I'm, I have a living boyfriend and I'm very happy I work hard for this relationship you know but I'm just so glad like your 20s kind of is fun right but it kind of sucks. It's a lot of like trial and error. You know, you gotta learn about yourself. You learn who your friends are. You know, what you like, what you don't. It's a lot of trial and error. Like it's a lot of experimenting. You're gonna love, you're gonna hurt. You're gonna have friends, you're gonna lose friends. You're gonna make money, you're gonna spend money. It's like the whole shebang, right? So when I was about, maybe like last year, like the, towards the end of last year, I was like driving to the gym and I don't know if anyone has ever experienced this but it felt like like everything in my head just clicked I don't know if it like is that like maturity or like my frontal lobe finally developing I don't know but everything just made sense and I was like whoa you know so I was like kind of excited to turn 30 and it was very bittersweet um, it was more like damn I'm already 30 like Time really is going by and there's still so many things I want to do and I want to do them, you know. Because in your 20s, you think you have time and you do have time, but it just goes by so quick. I know I said that so many times, but holy shit, this goes by fast. But, you know, let me, I wrote down some things. Um, so the first thing is, don't take things so personally. Like, seriously, don't take things so personally, okay. If someone does you dirty, don't take it personally. It ain't you. It ain't you. It was nothing wrong with you. You know, maybe maybe you did do something wrong. I'm not, I'm not saying don't take accountability for your actions. But like, you know, um, people can only meet you as far as they've met themselves. And I finally understand that quote. Like, I went to therapy, right? I think I say that a lot. I went to therapy and I started working on myself and all my, my issues. And I always felt like there are certain people that I was only good friends with when I was in a bad place. When I was getting better, I felt like with certain people, I had to like dumb myself down. Or I couldn't share my progress because they were not there, you know. And a mistake I made was I, I wanted like my friends to grow and like heal with me or whatever. But I didn't realize change is so deep and so personal and it takes a lot of courage to do. And a lot of people don't have that courage or not ready for it yet. And that's okay. Um, sometimes you can't take everyone with you and it's sad. But that's just that's just literally how life is. Um, so if people treat you the way they do or they, you know, it's, it's not you. You have to understand that people have their own issues and their own problems. And sometimes there's like, most of the time they're just projecting their shit onto you and you don't even realize it. So yeah, that's that. 
That's the first one. Don't take things so personally. If I saw this girl say this. I don't know who said it, but she's like, oh, if these people want to do these things, let them. If they want to say these things, let them. Let them. Don't try to control nothing. Just do you, okay? Ha, huh? how does it feel? Like the difference between the 20s and 30s. Okay, let me tell you. The only thing I wish I could have again is my loose and limber joints. Oh no, my dog is uh, hacking away. Okay, anyway, he's sleeping on the bed. I wanted to grab him, but side eye me anyway um when i was younger and i partied i raved i drank my 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 recovery one day not even barely Whew, now i drink i'm out the whole weekend like i have to really seriously plan my like going out because if i go out on saturday and i go heavy i try not to drink till i'm like passed out drunk anymore you know because those days are long over but i definitely still need the next day to kind of recover so then if i do that then I'm gonna have to go grocery shopping early Saturday or Friday and I have meal prep I have to do everything on Saturday before I go out so I can just chill on Sunday like it's a whole like a whole thing like you have to plan accordingly okay um, definitely miss like being a little less responsible like I didn't have many responsibilities like when I was like 22 23 I got a job so I just worked and I come home and I just watch TV like you know you could do these things I mean, you can still do these things, but it's it's different, okay? Um, I can sleep in. A bitch cannot sleep in no more. I wake up at like 7.30 on a Saturday. It's crazy. Uh, if I want to sleep in, it's like 8 o'clock, 8.30. Sleeping into me wild, right? I know. I know. <laughs> I miss sleeping until like 11. But even if I wake up at 11 now, I feel like I wasted like my whole day. So, that's that. Um, yeah. My knees hurt, my back hurts, everything hurts. Uh, my feet hurt, I stretch literally every night. I do yoga, I do mobility, I have to do it all now. You know, woes of turning 30. But, um, what else? What's the next thing? So that's the difference. Nothing too crazy, to be honest. You know, you're just more mature, you have a little bit more money, uh, better head on your shoulders, better discernment. Um, you know what you want, you know what you won't tolerate. It's a lot it's a lot of good things i want to say i'm like really excited i like feel good i feel like i look great you know i'm putting more effort into myself um early <laughs> early on this year during the winter i started to like, like break out like on my scalp like it started getting really dry it started freaking me out and then um i felt like my makeup routine wasn't working for me anymore so i was like on youtube looking at skincare and like makeup tutorial i felt like i was literally 18 again it felt like a second puberty and um my metabolism slowed down just a little bit so i definitely like gained a little bit weight and you know like all right before y'all come for me okay okay body dysmorphia crazy all right i'm just saying anyway definitely took a little bit of time adjusting to the changes you know I do love myself, you know, but you know, you just never think these things will happen to you. And when they do, it's like a struggle. Okay. That's, that's just the reality of it. It doesn't happen for everybody. Some people are lucky, but you know, I just have to look up the draw sometimes. Anyway. Um, yeah. Don't take life so seriously. Like seriously. Don't take it. Don't take life so seriously. Like take it seriously, but don't take it seriously. What a paradox, right? Uh, oxymoron? Irony? I don't know. Whatever term you want to use. Um, like just have fun just have fun i realized like i worried about so many things that i did not have to worry about <laughs> like all the drama i've had with my like past friends i didn't really think about it i don't even remember why we were beefing <laughs> i don't even remember why we argued or fought like all these things i worried about i don't even remember them so you know all that time like seriously all that time you spend worrying you can literally be using that time to enjoy life you can go outside have fun you know do the things you like hang out with your friends and family you know just you know be with yourself you are not your thoughts but that's besides the point anyway um yeah don't take life so seriously like let them let people do whatever they want to do they want to do this to you like of course grieve like if you have like a breakup or like your friends left, whatever, take the time to process your emotions, right? But don't get hung up over it. You know, life moves on with or without you, unfortunately. Um, but I think that's 
the majority. I don't know, I feel like a lot of people talk about things they learned in their 30s, but no matter what I say, life is the greatest teacher. So you won't, you know, only experience can teach you. But, yeah. I think that's, that's, that's it. This is a kind of short one. 10 minutes. But yeah. I know a lot of people are still in their 20s. But I feel like, oh, nothing is ever too late. Nothing, it's not, it's never too late to do anything, okay? I was very reluctant to starting a YouTube channel or even just making videos because I'm 30, right? And I felt like it's too late. But it's never not too late. Like, why, why do we think that it's always too late? I don't know, like, who the hell drilled that shit in our head. But it's not too late. Like, seriously, like, if you want to do something, just do it, you know? Um... I am it really took me a lot to sit here and like talk to a camera and like share my story and the things I've been through so but you know what it's fun and the price of fear like being scared to do this the price of fear is not as much as the price of regret I'm sure we all regret something right it's not a good feeling right at least like if we try something at least we tried it we feel better right so I want to at least try and put myself out there and then you know have fun with it rather than like oh maybe i should have done it like and then spend like god knows how long wondering what if this what if that you know because that's never a good time but yes i think the number one thing is never too late to start or do anything so if you want to do like you start that business do it if you want to like start that channel do it you want to make that tiktok do it like who the fuck cares like no one cares that's the greatest part right no one cares so why not People think like, oh, no one cares, but that's exactly the thing. Nobody cares. It's all about your mindset. All about your mindset. But yeah. So those are the few things I've learned in my 30s. If you guys like this, please let me know. And maybe I will think of some more things I've learned or any other questions anyone may have. But I'm excited for what's to come. I'm excited to make more videos. I want to make like different kinds of videos. I just like talking for now. Just kind of get used to the camera and get used to conveying my words yes and hopefully start be able to start thinking on my head faster because <laughs> i take a lot of pauses but it's all about learning experience right see failure is the what there's this quote it's like oh failure is the <laughs> hold on i need to look i, I roll in my phone let me let me get this quote failure is the price for entry i like that we're so scared of failure, but rejection is redirection, right? So don't worry. I, I've tried many things. I tried like baking to, to, as a business. I've tried embroidering sweaters. I've tried streaming. I've tried so many things and I'm just glad I tried it. And now YouTube is the next thing I'm trying, but I really hope I stick. I really, I really do want to stick to this because this is a lot more fun. I think I was just really scared because you know the fear of being seen so don't be scared so yeah but my dog is so cute let me let me let me i'm gonna look at that look at that cutie okay anyway um i hope you guys have a good rest of your day thank you for joining me if there's anything you want to see or any comments, you know, just leave down below. Um, like, favorite, subscribe. If you want to see more of this, have a good day. This is my new favorite thing. I also need to get uh, shorter nails because this is crazy. I feel like a crap. <laughs> okay. Bye.